All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Rikakadash. Now, when you look at the the rich and the poor, it's bigger than what people think. Because individuals don't understand the significance of being poor and the the reality of being poor and I want to get that I want to make that the foundation you go in Ecclesiasticus chapter 40 Ecclesiasticus chapter 40 in the Apocrypha uh, let's see here Ecclesiasticus chapter 40 verse 28 it says my son lead not a beggar's life for better is it to die than to beg let me re read that again Ecclesiastes 40 and 28 my son lead not a beggar's life for better is it to die than to bed. So when you look at uh, look at it from that perspective, then you understand what uh, it means to be rich while you have people on the earth that's poor. You see, because that's a major situation and so then when you look at the, what King Solomon was saying in Proverbs 22 it says a good name is rather than to a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold you see and so you understand that uh, the name is much greater because that's why these Edomites want to reject their name and come up with a false identity you see they want to keep the riches but they want to get away from that name because the whole thing is it's about the name uh, Proverbs 23 verse 4 say labor not to be rich cease from your own wisdom verse 5 will you set your eyes upon that which is not for riches surely make themselves wings they fly away as an eagle towards heaven that eagle is very significant especially when you're talking about heaven but when you go to Job, it'll look give you the understanding what he means uh, about this eagle. Riches will fly away like an eagle. Because riches is really about this nation. See, this nation that's, that's rich. about individuals but it's also about a nation let me get that in Job real quick it says Job 20 verse 8 it says uh, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yeah he shall be chased away as a vision of the night so when it say uh, riches make make themselves wing then fly away as the eagle of the night it's talking about the nation of Edom this is what they're gonna do they're gonna be rich but their riches is gonna fly away and they're and 
it's not gonna last. Uh, jump up to verse five and say the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but a moment. See, they're only gonna be rich for a moment. Verse six, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, his head reached up to the clouds. Even though he is ruling right now, it's not going to last. Now let me get this Psalms because Psalms gives you another reason why the Most High is choosing the poor and not the wicked a uh, nation that's prospering. Psalm 73 say, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. So the prosperity matches those wicked individuals. Verse 12 of Psalm 73 say, Behold, there are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Okay. Now here's the main part. It says, uh, let's see here. It says in verse, in verse, um, hold on, let's see here. Okay, verse five. It say they, this is Psalm 73, verse 5. It say they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. You see, they not in trouble like other men or plagued like other men. See, that's why they're not going to be able to get what the, the rich get just because, oh, they believe in white Jesus. No. They're not going to be able to get it. Because they're not being plagued like other men. These men that's poor. They're not being plagued like the poor. And we talking about these people that got millions of dollars or trillions of dollars who don't have to work a job. See, it's a small population of these Edomites that have to work a job. The majority of these people got money. And all of them are connected to the people that have money. Now, when you go to, um, let's see here, Job chapter 21, it says, Their seed is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes. Verse 9, Their houses are safe from fear, Neither is the rod of God upon them. See? Verse 13, it says, They spend their days in wealth. <laughs> so, people don't understand what's going on when it comes to this rich and poor thing. It's a major situation, and it's talking about two nations. The wicked prosper. That's why the richest people are the wickedest people. The Edomites, known as the border of wickedness, in Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Edom is known as the border of wickedness, and the ungodly increase in riches. Because that's what the blessing in jo in um, Genesis 27 and 40, that's what they're blessing. 38 and 40, or 39 and uh, 40. They was going to have to be blessed with the riches of the earth but when you go into the new testament and the gospel that's why Yahweh Shah, who they originally called jesus christ was telling the israelites matthew, matthew 19 19 and 24 he said um let me start at 23 he said then said Yahweh Shah unto his disciples Verily I say to you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the Avenida than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. So that's what it was about. Um, 
So, when you look at the rich and poor, it's a major situation. And you have these religious organizations, Salakia, like Jehovah Wickedness, and these other people talking about, they don't talk about politics. They stand out of politics. Well, you can't stay out of politics when it comes to rich and poor. You can't stay out of politics when it comes to reparation and all these things. You have to address these things. Because that's what Yahweh Shai uh, addressed. Matthew 20, uh, 5. What did he say in Matthew 25? Did I was... I'm going to start at, let's see here, 31. He said, when the Son of Man come in his glory, okay, when he come with all his angels and sit upon the throne of his glory, 32, uh, this Matthew 25, 32, and before him there sh shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided the sheep from the goats. And the goats represent them Edomites. And the other nations. But see this is the problem. When you stay away from politics. What is Yahweh Shah talking about? He talking straight about politics. Uh, let's see here. Verse. Let me get, get to the point. Uh, verse 34. He said. Then shall the king say unto them on the right hand. Uh, come ye blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world and see that there you go with it was a part of the Lord's plan for these righteous individuals who are his sheep the nation of Israel to get the kingdom uh, now when you look at uh, 35 uh, through 38 or 35 through 39 he is talking straight about politics 35 say for when he say for I was in hung, hung, and hungered and ye gave me meat pretty much saying I was hungry and you gave me meat you gave me something to eat I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink I was a stranger and you took me in see you tended to my needs. I was a beggar, pretty much, because he said being a beggar is worse is uh is worse than death. Death is better than being a beggar. And so, the Israelites are beggars. That's what the beggar. They were the the the, the uh, parable, in um, I think Luke about. The beggar and the rich man. That's what it's all about. Jacob and Esau. Uh, Esau being the rich man. And Jacob being the beggar. That's why the sheep and the go uh, goats. Is talking about Jacob and Esau. Esau had goat hair. Long stringy goat hair. And Jacob. Obviously had sheep hair. Because. They put the goat hair on Jacob to make it seem like it was Esau. So he they, they knew, oh, he don't have this goat hair, so let's put him on, put this on Jacob. Okay, but he's talking about politics. He's talking about being poor and being rich. See, then 39 say, or in prison and came to see me. That's politics. Who is the packing the prison? Prison system. The blacks and the Hispanics. The, 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 the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Israel. They packing the prison. They say, I was sick and you visit me. See, who leading all the cause of sicknesses? The Israelites. And so, this rich and poor situation is is dealing with the nation of Israel and the nation of Esau, Jacob and Jacob and um, Esau. That's why in Romans nine and thirteen it says, "Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated." 
Because this is what the whole situation is about. So, um, when you look at it, it say uh, a rich man should not inherit God's kingdom. He's talking about Esau. That's why Hebrews 12 and 16 say that he's a fornicator and he can't repent. It was no found no place for repentance for these red dragon Edomite, the so-called white man. So I'm gonna leave it there. When you look at the racial wealth gap, it's uh, it's totally on point with Bible prophecy and Jacob and Esau, the rich and the poor, the rich man and the beggar. And and like Sorak said. It's, it's better than death to be a beggar. And so, uh, when you look at um, how the whole situation played out, uh, these Edomites is not going to be able to get into the kingdom. Just due to that situation with them being filthy rich and they trying to pretty much... Uh, keep Jacob in that low estate. But I'm going to leave it there. All praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rikak, Dash, Double honors to the elders, pushing the truth. Peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.